So inverses and negative signs can sometimes make people feel a little anxious. So I wanted to give you guys a lecture or some instruction and information on how the negative sign works and impacts things, especially when there are parentheses involved. So whenever you have an integer, either positive or negative number, if, that, if a number gets wrapped in parentheses with a negative sign outside of it, that literally translates to the opposite of whatever sign follows. So if inside the parentheses I had a 7, what is the opposite of 7? Negative 7. If I have a negative 3, what's the opposite of negative 3? Positive 3. So you just need to be aware anytime there's a negative sign outside the parentheses, it gets distributed on everything inside and just flips the sign on everything that you have. So here's an example down here. I have 3x minus 4, and then I'm supposed to find the opposite of that. That negative sign distributes, just like it would if it was a number, it distributes on all terms inside the parentheses. So a negative times a positive is a negative 3x. A negative times a negative 4 is a positive 4. Negative times a 2y is a negative 2y, and a negative times a positive is a negative 7. So this is how that would distribute. The only thing that's getting adjusted is the negative sign. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a look at when there is a number in front of it and how that all works. So in a case like this expression, I have 7 minus the value 2x minus 8 minus 3x. So my first step in PEMDAS says I need to clear out the parentheses because there's an operation occurring within that parentheses. So I start by distributing the negative on all terms inside the parentheses. So I have 7. Negative times a positive is a negative. Negative times a positive is a positive. And then negative 3x. And then I want to combine my like terms. I have a negative 2x and a negative 3x. I know that when my signs are the same, I can go ahead and add them together. I'm not being asked to multiply them. So the signs aren't getting canceled out. This is saying I owe 2x's and I owe 3x's. So that means I owe 5x's altogether. And then I have a 7 and I have an 8. Same signs. I get to find the sum, add them together. I get positive 15 or my answer. So my final simplified expression is negative 5x plus 15. I cannot combine an x term and a non-x term, so this is far, as far as this expression will go. Now you might look at these two expressions, negative 4 squared versus negative 4 in parentheses squared, and think that's going to be the same answer. Er, nope, it's not. So without the parentheses, this 2 the exponent 2 is only touching the 4. It is not involved in that negative. So when I go to evaluate this, I have a negative being added to the value of 4 times 4. Well, 4 times 4 is 16. And then I'm supposed to have the opposite of 16, which is negative 16. So without the parentheses, exponent is not on the, the negative. But over here, I have a negative 4, and this value is what's being squared, which means I have a negative 4 times a negative 4. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, and 4 times 4 is 16. So I get a positive 16. This is why when you replace a variable with its value, especially when that value is negative, it is essential that you are replacing it in parentheses. Otherwise, you're going to mess up the sign. It's not as important when your exponent is an odd number because then you're going to have an odd number of negative signs no matter what, and your answer is going to be negative. But whenever your exponent is even, it means you're going to be doubling up on your negative signs if the parentheses is involved and potentially getting a positive answer. And that's going to make a big difference on what your uh, final solution is and whether you've handled that negative correctly. So please, replace a variable with its value in parentheses, and just being aware, no parentheses means that negative isn't involved in the squaring. Parentheses, it is. 
that should hopefully get you through the majority of, of the holdups on integers.